Hi everyone, welcome to Ramsey Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, back to the middle of winter again. It's freezing cold again anyway. A um, couple of uh, good runners last week. Well done, uh, Northern Soul put his head in front. He was one of our feature horses a couple of weeks ago and hope everyone followed him. Uh, absolute beautiful horse and a uh, big Northern Meteor bloke. And uh, geez, I thought he did a great job. Um, was caught wide, drew a wide barrier. Handled the wet track, which was great news. And um, uh, he was just a little bit soft late. So uh, still a fair bit of improvement in him, which is great. Well done, a couple of first um, first time owners, um, Chris Smith, etc. So um, good on you, Chris. Chris, well done, it's your first winner, so um, great news. A uh, couple of other horses that went really well through the week. Macrobius, uh, geez, I, I, he's a really tra lazy track worker. I threw a set of blinkers on him and uh, geez, it, it ended up coming against us. He over-raced bad early in the race and then flashed home late and uh, only got beat a short margin. But uh, I'm sure if he would have relaxed better earlier, he would have won. So um, we'll rip the blinkers off him and go up to a mile and a quarter his next start. Um, Poor old Spherical's having no luck. He's, uh, he seems to be going as good as he can possibly go, and he's got beaten a, in a very short margin again through the week. So um, just keep following him because he, uh, he'll no doubt uh, win a race very soon, but um, seems to be in pretty good order. Yeah, runners this week um, probably send Miss Beale up to Donald on Saturday, uh, just looking for a bit of a soft track. She uh, she raced and went really well first up and uh, just jarred up badly in her feet and uh, just had to really be very kind to her for the last last couple of weeks, but um, worked up great yesterday morning. In fact, she went like an absolute rocket yesterday morning on the training track, so hopefully she'll pull up good from that and we'll take her up to Donald. There's a bit of rain-affected track, wouldn't help, wouldn't hurt our cause at all and uh, just needs to, uh, to draw a gate, but uh, yeah, um, uh, if any luck at all, she'll be pretty hard to beat up at Donald on Saturday, I would think. Um, nothing else through the week. We might go to uh, Geelong on Tuesday. Well, um, horse has been going pretty well. Cool, uh, cool, cool world. I might run him in the uh, one of the heats of the synthetic series. Um, certainly the sprint series. Um, he got back and sort of hammered home. He's late. It was very good late the other day. Uh, goes back to the 1100, which is what the distance he won over. And um, you would think uh, just natural progression. He'd be pretty hard to beat in that. In fact, the horse. I think the horse is going pretty well. He's uh, nice and bright. That horse. A uh, little horse called Tijano's Tail. He's had a nice spell. He's come back. I'll just toss up whether we trial him or. Go straight to the races. I'll gallop him on Saturday morning and make that decision. And uh, a horse called Tempest Rock, if he gets a run, he may go around as well. We've had a change of ownership in him. The uh, current owners um, decided to uh, put him on the market and sell him. And a guy from uh, a couple of guys from uh, Canberra actually bought him and asked us to continue to train the horse for a little while. So he might uh, step out on Tuesday as well. <laughs> Yeah, horse of the week this week. So a little filly here called Miss Spiel. Um, she uh, she's uh, run a couple of she won and run a couple of placings last time in, and uh, she's come back in this time in and seems to be going really really well. She uh, uh, ran a blinder first up and uh, just pulled up a little bit scratchy in the feet. Where um, now she uh, seems to be over that and she will probably take her up to Donald on the weekend. And um, uh, the way she's going, I'm sure she'll go pretty well. Um, is she uh, just a little homebred horse? She um, certainly wouldn't have been an expensive horse as a as a young horse, but she's um, just a little homebred horse. And uh, not too many people actually race both the stallion and the mare, which is what the owners of this horse did. So um, good luck to them, but um, yeah, um, certainly a filly in, in the stable worth following. Hi everyone. Plenty of rain here today, so let's hope the drought's broken and we can get some winners for you. So straight to Caulfield, race seven, number 11, Tikiato. Very impressed with its win at Geelong. Think it can back up and win again. Then Rose Hill, race three, number eight, Mr. Steele. I know Bjorn Baker's got a big opinion of this horse and it'll run well. My value bet, race two, number two, surpassed 20 to one shot in early markets. So get on, good luck, and we'll catch you again next week. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, Make sure you tune in next week from an uh, exotic location. I'm having, uh, having a couple of days off with the family and um, we, uh, I think it's the, uh, I've been told by my wife, this is the first family holiday we've had in 12 years. So we won't be gone for too long, but um, yeah, we'll, uh, you'll have no doubt where we're going when you uh, see next week's video. A um, couple of runners through the week. Hopefully, uh, I think the little filly will go pretty good up at Donald. She's, uh, I really like her. She's a lovely little filly, Miss Phil. And um, cool, cool world. And needs a bit of luck on Tuesday and uh, he, uh, he'll go good. And um, so until next week, I'll get out of the rain and I'll see you next week. See ya. We're on. Action. <laughs> you right? Yeah, we need. Um, yeah, this filly is exactly, yeah, let's start that again. That's no good. I headed off to the uh, Sydney Air Classic Gilling Sales, wherever it was, go. Hi everyone, welcome to Emsley Lodge for another week. Uh, yeah, it's uh, bloody cold here this morning, mate. Hey, Cobber, hey. <laughs> How about, how about I get a bloody new cameraman? How's that? <laughs>